Hi, in this video, I'm going to discuss the appointment statuses, how to handle confirmed appointments, how to handle canceled appointments. What if the lead does not show up on the appointment start date and time? So for that, we are going to need help of opportunities and automations. So let's go to opportunities. If you don't know what opportunities and pipelines are, you can watch my video. I'll, I'll try to pin that in the video somehow. Let's create a new pipeline. I'm going to call it appointment pipeline. As you can see, I'm creating this pipeline just to handle the appointment related stages, right? So if you want, you can include these stages into your general sales pipeline. Like if you have a general sales pipeline where you're nurturing all your leads, you can include these stages into that pipeline. But for the sake of this video, I'm, I'm going to stick with this specific appointment pipeline over here. So let's say confirmed. Cancelled. Then no show. So we've got a pipeline and inside that we've got three stages, right? Confirmed, cancelled and no show. What we're going to do, we're going to have all the leads that have booked appointments to this stage automatically. If a lead cancels from a link in the email that you're gonna send in confirmation and reminders, we're gonna have them automatically over here. And the third part, in this stage, the system cannot find out automatically if a lead showed up or not. So we're gonna have to move the tile manually from confirm to no show if the lead does not show up. Let's go to automations before that let's go to settings and confirm which calendar we're working with here so we're gonna work with this roof replacement discussion calendar group and we're gonna work with this calendar so let's go back let's go to automations i have created an appointment automations folder from here so i'm gonna have all the workflows that we're gonna create inside this folder let's create a new workflow Start from scratch. Now, this workflow will be for the confirmed appointments, right? So let's say appointment confirmed. All right, so let's start with customer booked appointment. In calendar group, we're gonna say roof replacement discussion. So the customer booked appointment in group roof replacement discussion, the trigger looks all right. So this is when the trigger activates and this workflow activates. We are going to create or update opportunity in which pipeline, the one that we just created and the stage will be confirmed. So what we are doing is if a customer books appointment, this workflow is gonna automatically add the lead to appointment pipeline in the stage confirmed and opportunity name will be contact dot full name source you can say maybe let's keep it blank for now but you can say whatever like google facebook if you're running google ads or facebook ads you can modify it according to that status open because we haven't sold something so save action publish done we have successfully handled the confirmed appointments now we are going to create another workflow from scratch, obviously. In this one, we are going to say point meant canceled plus no show. My strategy here is I am going to handle the canceled and no show appointments in the same workflow. So that's why I have named it appointment canceled plus no show. What we're going to do is we're going to add one trigger over here. We're going to say appointment status is um, cancelled in calendar group roof replacement discussion. All right. So we're going to name this cancelled appointment cancelled we are going to have a different workflow trigger that's going to say appointment status is no show 
and we're gonna say in calendar group roof replacement discussion all right let's name this appointment no show now what we're gonna do is let's save it first what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for if else so we are starting with the condition so this condition this first branch will contain the cancelled stuff we're gonna say workflow trigger is appointment cancelled because we have set up two triggers here in the first one we're gonna say appointment cancelled now if sometime it does not show up you just have to go ahead and save the workflow that way you can find these over here so i have already found this so workflow trigger is appointment cancelled i'm gonna say cancelled we're gonna add a new branch that's gonna say no show workflow trigger is appointment no show just like the two triggers that we set up here so this first branch is about cancelled let's do creator update opportunity right now we are just updating the opportunity not creating it so the pipeline will be cancelled name should be just name and leave everything else as it is for no show let's do the same appointment pipeline no show contact dot full name as it is just update opportunity you can name it to update opportunity no show the other one you can do cancels right so let's publish all right so here you can add a bunch of more stuff like uh, you can add follow-up emails texts voicemails asking them to reschedule uh, same thing goes for no show because when they do not show up you're gonna have to follow up with them when they cancel you're gonna follow up with them to ask for another date and time sending the link asking them to reschedule but here's the thing we know that the lead can cancel the appointment by clicking on the link that you're gonna send him or her in the email but there's no way for the system to find out if a lead showed up or not so how are we gonna handle that let's go here and let me do a test booking that way we can find out so let's do next month yeah let's do this let's do everything else I I need replacement schedule meeting all right so if we go back to opportunities I should see a lead over here the booking that I just made okay I can cancel the appointment from the appointment confirmation campaign but for the no-shows you're gonna have to do it manually so we want to mark this lead as a no-show we should click on the name of the lead then we need to go to appointment so this is going because of the workflow we designed in the other video so um we should go to appointment we should click on this pencil as you can see it's showing all sorts of data related to the appointment i should click on additional preferences and in appointment status we should just mark this as a no-show a bit complicated but not that much now now this is a no-show and if we go back to opportunities it should be in no show automatically because we just updated it to no show and for cancelled it can cancel with the cancellation link and it should be here automatically but you can also move it to cancelled and move back and forth so this is how we handle the appointment confirmed cancelled and no show like i said you can include these three stages in your general sales pipeline or whatever but i just did it because I just wanted to show you how to do that and how it's done. Hope this helps and see you in the next one.